Do you see people coming in with a lot of motivation and expecting results very quick? Oh yeah, the quick fix is huge. Uh, it's yeah. like 50% of people, Yeah. they don't want to be overnight sensations, but they expect six to eight weeks, things will happen. Yeah. And it should be six to nine months and things will. Yeah. So do you find that people lose motivation very, very quick when they don't see results? Yeah. yeah. What do you as trainers do to try and curb that misconception? All right. Um, just try to get them to see the bigger picture. Don't look for four to six weeks. Look for two years and outlook and then just pace it. So obviously, first four to six weeks, they just want a routine. They don't want a six-pack. They can look beyond that. Um, then within six months obviously do see noticeable changes and then beyond a year have everything in place because generally a process every, anyone can train but people can always eat terribly yeah. and it's only the genetically blessed to get away with that yeah um, with, that's right. with um, today's growing pressures for that ideal body uh, do you find people are more motivated to learn about nutrition and its role in weight loss over the misconception of starving yourself is going to make you lose weight quicker? Well, yeah, well, there's more, there's still those people, though, or they'll count calories based on the biggest loser. Mm -hmm. So that makes our job a lot tougher because they see that and they go, yeah. oh, they lost 40 kilos. But um, unless you don't have a job and a good, and a good source of income, it's just not going to happen that quickly. So... Yeah, it, more people are conscious of it because of what's on TV and the radio now, so they're getting smarter, but still, yeah, there are still those, mainly female, because they're obviously going to lose weight. More people, most of the blokes are looking to get bigger, yeah. um, who are looking for the quick fix, and they'll just drink water and eat carrot sticks. <laughs>